Yo, what's going on everybody? It is, I'm back. Yes, it's been a while. It's been, I think my last upload on this channel was my 2K22 season one edit. And that was all the way back in September, October. Somewhere like that when 2K came out and 2K23 is right around the corner. So I thought I'd post my yearly video um, on this game. And as you can see, we're in the My League mode or my NBA mode as next gen call it. As yes, I managed to get my hands on a PS5 console. Um, I didn't put that out there, but I did get my hands on a PS5 console in around November last year, 2021, November. I don't know why I'm doing these hand movements, but I haven't been on the camera for a while. Um, now, if you haven't seen by the uh, title and the thumbnail of the video, we're doing a New York Knicks rebuild. Um, this was the only Knicks jersey or shirt I could find in the house. This is just my Derrick Rose jersey um, from this season. But yeah, we're doing a Donovan Mitchell rebuild. So it's been in the media for a couple of weeks now that the Knicks and the Jazz are in trade talks for Donovan Mitchell. Um, as a Knicks fan personally, I'm really excited for this trade to happen if it does occur. I think Donovan Mitchell will be a very strong piece in the Knicks. I think we're really, if we trade for Donovan Mitchell and we don't give up too much, I reckon we'll be a strong playoff playoff berth, maybe making the conference finals if we're lucky. I don't think we're contending just yet, but I'm really looking forward to this season. Even without Donovan Mitchell, if, it, if that doesn't come to its worth, we've still got a pretty good season with Jalen Brunson, Quentin Grimes coming off a great summer league, Miles McBride as well coming off a great summer league. Um, and yeah, so that's what's happening. So without further ado, um, I'll show you guys the trades. I've already made the trade and all that. I've done the override and stuff like that um, to uh, show y'all uh, what I've done. No, I actually don't. I, I'm new. I'm new to like this um, this uh, thing out here. So I'm kind of trying to. There we go. Transaction report. So I've done a three. So today, an article. I'll pop it on the screen right now. This, the, this article was apparently made like a couple weeks ago, but it just got listed about 20 hours ago or something of a three-team trade between the Los Angeles Lakers, the Utah Jazz, and the New York Knicks, landing Donovan Mitchell in New York and landing Russell Westbrook in Utah. So I've done this trade here, so I've given up Utah, Evan Fournier to the Jazz, Cameron Reddish to the Lakers, and four first-round picks all to the Jazz. Um, that's what the Knicks give up. The Jazz trade away Donovan Mitchell to the Knicks, Bojan Bogdanovic to the Knicks, Patrick Beverly to the Lakers, Rudy Gay to the Lakers, and the Lakers trade Russell Westbrook to the Jazz and three first round picks to the Jazz and also Jan Toscano to the Jazz. So that is what's happening around the league. So now if we look at the current Knicks roster, Donovan Mitchell at a 91 overall at 26 years of age, RJ Barrett, very strong year. I think this is his fourth year in the league. Draft in 2019. This will be his fourth league in the year, uh, in the fourth year in the league. Julius Randle didn't after coming back from a most improved player season. He did not have the greatest seasons in New York. Um, 27 years of age. I reckon he's got a couple of years in him to try and get that most improved player mentality back. Otherwise, he might not be here to stay in this rebuild. Derek Rose. I'm repping the jersey as I said earlier. Derek Rose is my second favorite player in the league. Um, not the Knicks Derrick Rose, obviously the Bulls Derrick Rose, or even the early Knicks Derrick Rose, or Tim Bulls Derrick Rose, but um, 33 years of age, he might be here to stay, he's got a, a decent contract on him, what's he making, 14.45 a year. The new signing, Jalen Brunson in New York, I'm excited for this man, he just dropped like, what was it, like 22 points or something in this like Pro-Am game like, a couple hours ago, or like a day ago, and he's looking strong, Jalen Brunson's looking strong, He, I'm really excited to see what he's looking like in New York. We finally got ourselves a point guard after I think our last point guard that was actually like that we relied on was probably like Alfred Payton or something back in like 2019-18. So it's just learning to see Jalen Brunson. We offered him a bag and I'm happy with that. I don't mind. Uh, Bojan Bojanovic was in the trade piece we made earlier. I don't know if I'm going to keep him. Mitchell Robinson just offered him a contract extension. Happy that we got him. Emmanuel Quickly, Obi Toppin, Quentin Grimes. In real life, I reckon one of these two, Obi Toppin, uh, Quentin Grimes, or even Emmanuel Quickly, are going to go in the trade to Donovan Mitchell. Um, the Knicks have already said that Quentin Grimes is untradeable, but I reckon Obi Toppin's going to get traded, and I hate to see because I love Obi Toppin. I think he's a really good player. Um, Isaiah Huntenstein, we also picked up in free agency this year. Mark McBride coming off a decent summer league season. Jericho Sims, who we offered an extension to, and then Trevor Keels, our new rookie. And then we got a bun uh, we got one two-way playoff. So um, was, as the power rankings, we are ranked 22nd in the league out of 30. So it's not uh, that strong. I'm not gonna lie. I was looking at our starting five. We got Jalen Brunson, Donovan Mitchell, 
RJ Barrett, Julius Randle, and Mitchell Robinson. Now, I'm not too fussy about looking for anyone to anyone to trade yet. Yeah, this is the Jazz's new team after the trade. It's near Russell Westbrook, and then if we move to the Lakers, Lakers got pretty much, you know, they got Patrick Beverly, Rudy Gay. They've got some side pieces there. Mainly give up our picks. Um, at the moment, our picks aren't really looking that well because we traded four away to the um, Knicks, but I managed to keep on to the 2023 first round pick. Now, one thing I'm going to have a look here is just see if there's any things floating around for Julius Randle, making $28 million, an 82 overall. He's only got a three-star value. I don't think there's anything that's going to be... We can get Evan Fournier back and Kendrick Nunn, but I'm not interested in um, getting into that. I'm looking at this. Ben Simmons. The Brooklyn Nets are willing to offer me Ben Simmons, Fred Van Vliet as well, D'Angelo Russell, Jeremiah, Jeremy Grant. I don't know I said Jeremiah. Jeremy Grant. We can bring Paul Zingas back in New York. There's nothing really flowing around the market at the moment. Jeremy Grant is not a bad piece, but we have to give up a first round pick. And at the moment, our picks are very limited at the moment. Um, as you can see, we got we got this year's pick, next year top 10 protected Mavericks pick, and no more first round picks until 2026. So we are really not looking too well in that caliber. Um, so I don't think there's anything I really want to do here. Um, to consider, well, we just got Bogan and he's making a bag. So if I was to throw Bogan and Miles McBride, who is a young piece, into the trade finder, is it too early to be trading Miles McBride? I don't know. I don't know if we should leave up and let him get some potential in him. But if I can get a solid high 80 overall player for these two, I would not mind that at all. And the only one above 80 that we get is Carl Kuzma, who I'm not too invested in. Um, maybe Miles McBride brought that thing down, so we're just going to go straight for Bojan. See if anything comes up. Clint Capella at a 78 overall is disgusting. We do get another first round pick from the Hawks. That could be pretty valuable, and Clint Capella is a decent, decent player, but at a 78 overall, I don't think he's worth that. So I don't think there's anything at the moment that we are really looking at. Um, before I jump into some simulation, let's just check out some of the trade value for our players. So we got Donovan Mitchell at four and a half star, Julius Randle at three star, um, RJ Barrett is at four and a half star. Okay, his trade value is significant. And then let's look at our rookies, Obi Toppin, three star, Quentin Grimes, two and a half star. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to simulate to the uh, All-Star break, or when, when all the All-Star cap, uh, captains get announced. So we're going to simulate through here, and let's we'll see hopefully where it picks up. A few moments later. Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? Oh my goodness. Derek Rose and Bojan Bogdanovic for Chris Middleton. Bag. Straight out of the bag. We just signed Chris Middleton. Chris Middleton. If we put him at the power forward position at 6'7, that's all Joe Reynolds, 6'9. Alright, we'll leave him there. We just got Chris Middleton. If we were to chuck him straight into the trade finder again. Okay, so the trade I'm doing, now this may sound stupid, this may sound stupid, I'm giving up Chris Middleton and a second round pick for the Houston Rockets unprotected first round pick this year and Bo Barmogjanovic. I'm doing this for two reasons, Mom, oh, three reasons, sorry. So the first reason was, there was nothing that much better on the table. Um, the only better offer for Chris Middleton and that first round pick was Pascal Siakam. Um, I would, I don't think Pascal Siakam is, plus he was playing center. And I would just rather trade... I, I would do this trade because we get rid of salary capping Chris Middleton, who makes $33 million. And we can trade this pick as well. This pick could be super valuable in the future. So I'm trading Chris Middleton for Boban Mojanovic, get, get rid of the salary cap. And plus, if we, were to, if, we were to, if we were to keep Chris Middleton, RJ Barrett would be pushed to the bench, which means that his, his progression will lower... And I think RJ Barrett is a solid piece. He's a solid starter. So I I was not interested in uh, putting him, putting uh, RJ Barrett on the bench for Chris Middleton. And Chris Middleton was making too much money. So the time of the uh, all-star teams and Donovan Mitchell from the New York Knicks is an all-star. 
reserve. So that is pretty good. Um, so now let's continue looking at the roster. So we are at that uh, deadline, which I tried to sim to. Uh, Donovan Mitchell up to a 92, Julius Randle up to an 83, Jalen Brunson to an 83. Everyone's increasing, it looks like. Mitch Robinson, Jericho Sims are both injured. So now what I'm thinking of doing is I'm just quickly going to check check the standings of where the Rockets are right now. The Rockets are the worst team in the league by seven games. So how much is that pick worth now? Because I don't think I really want to trade it just yet because I feel like it could definitely go up in value. I'm not sure if I... It's forced up, are you? It's forced up, are you? I'm not sure if I wait until... Yeah, I'm not sure if I wait until the All-Star, until the lottery happens, because there could be the case that the Rockets get snagged and they don't get the first over first round pick, which means the like which means the ranking of the pick would go down. Or if I was to trade it right now and get someone, you know, good. So right here, Darius Garland. Oh, oh hold on the phone. One guy that I know is like that we could end up like that we could potentially trade for is Carl Anthony Towns. All right, we have got a bag. Bam. All right, so we just made a trade for the man I was talking about. For the man I was talking about. Where do I, um, where do I go to again for this? I was just, oh, league news, league news, okay. We traded for Carl Anthony Towns. Carl Anthony Towns is in New York. We gave up Julius Randle, an exception. We gave up Obi Toppin. Obi Toppin left, it was sad to see, but Obi Toppin was the only rookie that wasn't going up overall, like he wasn't progressing. So I threw him in for the trade as well, and we gave them the Mavericks pick, a second round pick, and we also gave them Boba Mogdanovich. For Carl Anthony Towns, Jaden McDaniels, who was a good rookie, and Nathan Knight. Now, um, what is happening though is currently Carl Anthony Towns is the power forward. I'm going to move him up to a center. We want him to be playing the center position. So now we've got Jalen Brunson, Donovan Mitchell, RJ Barrett, Jaden McDaniels, and Carl Anthony Towns. We need to sign ourselves a, a, a power forward. So this is where I reckon we go in with that Rockets pick and try and secure ourselves a power forward. Pick. All right, so we just made another trade for a power forward. It is none other than Brandon Ingram joining the New York Knicks. So we traded for Brandon Ingram and we gave up Isaiah Hartenstein, an exception. Uh, the, we gave up the Rockets pick that we traded for. We gave that up. We gave up another first round pick and a second round pick. So now straight to the roster. Uh, Brandon Ingram is becoming a power forward. He drops to an 85 overall. And this is the new starting lineup. So at the point guard, Jalen Brunson at the shooting guard, Donovan Mitchell at the small forward, RJ Barrett at the power forward, Brandon Ingram at the center, Carthony Towns off the bench, Emmanuel Quickly, Quentin Grimes, Jaden McDaniels, Naji Marshall, Javon Carter, Miles McBride, Trevor Keels, Nathan Knight, Mitch Robinson, who is Mitch Robinson is also he's also still on the team. He's just injured. So and we're we're, we're only at February. So I'm gonna to simulate to the regular to the rest of the season. Mitch Robinson is back. Donovan Mitchell injury. Let's see how it goes. So the season is over. We finished second in the Eastern Conference. Stephen Curry wins the most valuable player, averaging 24, 7, and 5 a game. Chet Holmgren wins Rookie of the Year, averaging 17, 8, and 1 a game. Precious Achua, Sixth Man of the Year, averaging 10, 8, and 3 a game. Joel Embiid, Defensive Player of the Year, averaging 24, 15 rebounds. Ooh, 15 rebounds. Two assists a game. Tyrex Maxi, most improved player. He always wins this in my in my like simulations, rebuilds. Steve Kerr, coach of the year with the Golden State Warriors. Um, let's see. Lamelo Ball makes the all NBA first team. And Carl Anthony Towns, New York Knicks, makes the all NBA third team. Don't don't give credit. Don't actually don't, don't give credit to Don, uh, Draymond Green making the all NBA third team, and then if you look at the all-defensive second teams, we are not there. But let's have a look here. So here we are, we are the second seed. 
let's have a look at the um at the season stats. So Carlton City Towns averaging 19 points a game, uh, six, uh, 11 rebounds a game. Donovan Mitchell averaging 19.2 points a game, 5.5 rebounds, 5.1 assists. Brandon Ingram 15.4, RJ Barrett 14.7, Jalen Brunson 12.5. All right, let's see who we're going to be playing. We are playing the seventh-seeded Detroit Pistons. And let's see if we can get through this first round. We win game one. Donovan Mitchell, uh, Mitchell Robinson, sorry, dislocates his right finger. So he's out for a day-to-day, -day, but he's back. We win game two. We They win game three, so totally 2-1. They win game four. They win game five. Oh, <laughs> they win game five. They are currently up in this series. It is in Detroit. And oh, it's it's getting close. It's getting close. It's getting close. It's getting close. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's close. It's close. It's close. Oh, my God. It's close. Okay. Oh, my God. It's one. Okay. One minute and 12. We are down by three with a minute and 12 seconds. Mitchell Robinson inbounds the ball to Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson gets a screen from Mitchell Robinson. Jalen Brunson going straight up. RJ Barrett is open for the three. He drives in for the layup. It gets blocked by, who's that? I don't know who that is, some rookie. Marvin Bagley gives it to Kay Cunningham. Kay Cunningham guarded by Jalen Brunson. Brun Kay Cunningham is the screen. No one's wide open. Kay Cunningham to the basket. He's fouled by Brunson. And Jalen Brunson's on five fouls. Okay, um, all right, sweet. So we got Barrett, Ingram, we got the starters on the court right now. Down by five points, Jalen Brunson, this is a win or go home for New York. Jalen Brunson on the ball for New York. Gets the screen from Brandon Ingram, Brunson goes inside, gives it to Barrett. Barrett's trying to work, gives it to Carl Anthony Towns inside. Carl Anthony Towns with the layup. The Knicks are down by three with 35 seconds left. If they lose this game, they are out of the playoffs, losing to the 8th seed. K Cunningham goes for a post hook, and he gets it to 4. The Knicks call timeout with 30 seconds on the clock. All right, the timeout is over. The Knicks get the ball from halfway, above halfway. It's still a 5-point game with 30 seconds left. Barrett inbounds the ball to Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell working on this. I don't know who this is. Donovan Mitchell goes, goes for the step back 3. He misses... And there is the foul from Carl Anthony Towns, his fourth foul of the game over. Kay Cunningham puts up 28 points, Brandon Ingram with 25. And that is it for the Knicks, season number one. They go down in six games to the seventh seeded Detroit Pistons. And the Los Angeles Lakers win the NBA championship with LeBron James winning the finals. MVP. Okay, so let's check this offseason real quick. See if anything has happened. Draft lottery. So we who did we trade that Rockets pick to? We traded it to the Timberwolves for Carl Anthony Towns. No. No, we traded it to the Pelicans for um We traded it to the Pelicans for Brandon Ingram. So let's see if our first round pick was gonna be the first pick in the draft. And it drops to five. We snubbed the Pelicans for Brandon Ingram. We traded away that. We traded Chris Middleton for that pick because the Rockets sucked at the time. I, I thought, should I keep the pick or they could fall in the lottery potentially? So I thought that through, traded to the Pelicans for Brandon Ingram and they got snubbed. They got the fifth pick in the draft. We have the... We traded our 2022 pick to the Timberwolves for... Uh, Carl Anthony Towns. So that don't matter. I'm um, looking at the rookie signings. I don't think we're gonna sign uh, anyone. Yeah, we didn't have any draft picks this year. Team player options. Let's have a look. See, Emmanuel quickly accepts his try player option. Um, team. Well, these are all team options. Okay, I'm gonna. Yeah. So actually, Jaden McDaniels will accept his team option. Um, but everything else seems okay. RJ Barrett, we're going to offer him that extension, obviously. Now, here is the uh, draft lottery. RJ Barrett is a restricted free agent. 
Um, LeBron James is an unrestricted free agent. Uh, surprisingly, I'm just going to make sure that no one offers um, RJ Barrett a bag before we go on. RJ Barrett is prepared to accept an offer from the Lakers. We're going to match that offer. He was he, he was really he was really convinced that he was about to go to the people that's won the championship. Well, it depends if they re-sign LeBron or not. Um, so year number two, Carmsey Towns, 89. Donovan Mitchell drops to an 88. Um, yeah. So let's just advance to the next season. Um, and that's where I'm going to leave this video off. Where this is going to be a part one series of um, this is going to be a part one series um, of hopefully. A short parted series because we want the Knicks to win a championship. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I think my league videos personally are like very boring for viewers to watch. So I'm sorry if this wasn't that like the most entertaining video. Um, if you want to see something like, like anything more entertaining, please let me know down below. But otherwise, I hope it was okay. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you would like, a, if you would like to, a like and subscribe would be much appreciated. So, yeah, hopefully, again, I've said this several times, but hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys later. Catch ya. Bye.